Yeah. You know, what's what's really interesting is they're starting to call this a COVID symptom. They're not COVID symptoms. No, no. I've never had a virus that gave me numbness in legs in my extremities. I've never had a virus that gave me heart palpitations. So sure. had a virus give me uh, inability to breathe. I mean, I, I get congested, but I'm still able to breathe. I'm mm. able to mouth breathe and my lungs are working just fine. So what happens um, when, when, when you get headaches, these are just external symptoms of what is happening to your blood. It's an immediate effect. Okay. It's an immediate effect because I have proof. This teacher's blood coagulated within just one day's worth of exposure. That's so from awful. Single yes. cells, from single cells that were happy yes. side by side, round, plump yes. cells, happy cells, to something that was so congealed. Corrupted. It looked like flesh. And the, and the blood on the slide was brown. When mm. I took her blood that morning, it was red. <clears throat> Excuse me, and it was flowing. By the end of the school day, it was brown. I, I could barely squeeze the blood out. It was just, you know, and and the and the the sl slip cover could barely get pressed onto the the droplet of blood. So it's um. That's when this was actually before I I I came upon the whole sixty gigahertz phenomenon. Yeah. So it was based on the blood study that I knew there was something else that was, you know, all it all it takes is just one one extra push to push people over. So people um, say, "Wow, you know, the entire school came down with an illness." Well, it's a combination of the three exposures to the three frequencies. Because again, remember the depth of the frequencies is reaching your body at different different level yeah and that's where mark uh, Steele talks about densification isn't it it's, it's a combination of all of these things create a, den a density throughout the uh, the atmosphere and the ether around us yeah 